Hey there, YouTubers. Welcome back to the Golden Car Comics channel. If this is your first visit, then welcome. Hope you stick around. Hope you like what you see. Hope I make a subscriber out of you. Um, it's about 2 a.m. right now where I'm at, and I just really couldn't sleep. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff going on today. I figured I'm going to make uh, several short videos and uh, get them on uh, get them on YouTube tonight, and uh, hopefully hear from you guys soon. See what you think about what I'm showing you. Hear any suggestions for content. Uh, I am going to be getting a new microphone for my computer, hopefully tomorrow or the next day. Life has just been all kinds of crazy busy. That uh, late night DJ, keeping busy, wedding season life, and having a teenage son on top of it is just really, really starting to uh, kick my tail a little bit. But hey, I love sharing my collections with you, so please, enjoy. Uh, first off, I'd like to point out that uh, for your viewing pleasure while I'm switching books, because this is going to be a back issue comic haul. Uh, but for the meantime, I'm going to have my Ultraman up here. My classic Ultraman figure. And my new 52 Ultraman figure. Let me get a little dust off him. Anyway, this is the classic Ultraman. This is how he appeared when he first showed up in Justice League number 29. Good looking guy, look at that. Not quite a Superman outfit, but definitely, you know, based on Superman. Try to get the glare out of that. As opposed to the New 52 Super, uh, the New 52 Ultraman, who obviously was uh, drawn to look more like Superman. You notice the addition of the yellow and the U symbol there on his chest. Um, He's got a lot more of the flashy blues and yellows and more accessories. Just drawn a lot more extravagantly, a lot more flashy and flamboyant, much like the Superman that we know and love. But those are my Ultraman figures. So I'm going to leave those there for you guys to look at. I have the rest of the Crime Syndicate as well to show you, but those will be in later videos. On to my comic haul. My back issue comic haul, a term I just learned off of a video today. Starting with my Justice League Dark issue. This is issue number, I don't know what issue this is, but it's from May 2015. My local comic shop, The Loft Cards Collectibles and Games, they're expanding and they finally got room to get a big back issue table going so you could flip through the boxes, find some old books. They have some dollar bins. And I saw this. I was actually helping him put it together. And I happened to see this and I had to grab it. I didn't see it when it first came out. Obviously, it's a take on the, it's a spoof on the Beetlejuice movie poster. And so I had to own it. So there it is, my first back issue. Next, I was shocked and amazed that they still had this copy on the shelves of course that's the Alex Ross cover of Amazing Spider-Man 15 Iron Spider Mary Jane and you know what this is my third copy I usually don't stock up on copies like that my son has a copy I got a copy off of eBay and this third one was just this one was just sitting at the shop today so I bought it. I looked it over, made sure it was in great shape, and it absolutely is. It's beautiful. There's no reason why this one should have been sitting there. So I, I bought it. It's mine. So I, I now have three copies. Next. I don't know why, but I didn't I hadn't I didn't have this in my pool list. Uh, Action Comics number nine fifty nine. But I saw the cover. I had seen a lot of people showing it on YouTube and Doomsday, Superman, Superman holding Clark Kent. I mean, the, the cover just tells a great story. So, once again, something I said, hey, I'm going to grab this, I'm going to read this. Maybe I need to get the couple issues before, a couple issues since, but this is still sitting there, I'm going to buy it. Next, they actually added a, uh, since they have more room, they've decided to pull out a lot more of their vintage books. 
and I was just jonesing for some of those. And I didn't see any that I liked right away. I did see some that I thought my son would find interesting. Well, to be honest, I did like this one. I'm going to show you here. The Sensational She-Hulk, number three. And, of course, throwing some Spider-Man for my son. But I, I, I love that cover. It looks fantastic. Uh, the She-Hulk is just a character that I, I enjoy reading about. Uh, I've been looking for a nice uh, first issue of her book. Uh, it's not going for a whole lot of money, but I'm getting picky. I'm like, if I'm not going to have to, if it's not real expensive, then I might as well get the nicest one I can, not graded, so I can flip through it and then maybe go send off get it graded. Anyway, that was it right there. And last but not least, for my back issue comic haul, Web of Spider Man number 59. My son saw it, loved it because we have the cosmic powered spider-man so he just got really excited it was for a phenomenal price i think it was like maybe five dollars i paid for this book if that and we have the i believe that's the puma there uh, i don't know who that is i used to know but i'm not a marvel guy i'm a dc guy my son would probably know but uh, anyway so there you go Nice, quick, simple video, back issue comic haul, and a couple of crime syndicate figures. I'll be back in just a few, as I've got an unboxing. Stick around for it. <laughs>